everyone, Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel and welcome to the world of Android customization. In today's video, it's going to be a very simple Android home screen tutorial. So without any further ado, let's bring you today's new video. Great, so like I said today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up this very simple Android home screen titled City Night by the author Vivek S or Vivex. And it's, it's actually amazing. It's got a screen of the day and it's doing very well on the My Color Screen channel. This is mainly due to its one page setup. It's got everything that you need. There's actually a lot of information here that you might, might not even realize. I mean, we've got all of our weather information right here. You can tell like what temperature it is. At the top, you've got your time, you've got your alarm, your well, your next agenda, you've got your date, you've got your, uh, your notifications such as your missed calls, your emails, stuff like that. Beneath that, you've got your location and it actually gets quite on target as well as the latitude and longitude. And this is have a look, you even got some system information there that as you can see is also quite cool. You've got your, it tells you what phone you have in case you don't really know what phone you have, um, your storage, your RAM, your CPU, even your Wi-Fi, whatever name it is. And then last but not least, you've got this little awesome little music widget at the bottom that when you select it, bam, it starts playing the music straight away. And you can just press it again, just like that, to pause the music. It is really cool and it works really well. It's a simple one-page setup. And if you really enjoy it, then let's begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before you begin the setup, just some apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete it. First up, the apps that you'll be needing, you'll definitely be needing a third-party launcher. I do recommend Nova Launcher. You're welcome to try out the rest, such as Apex Nova. You can even try and do it with Thema. It actually might turn out pretty well, but Nova was the easiest. Next up will be Media Utilities, and that's simply to get that music information displaying, that one that uh, you saw at the bottom. And then Super Widget, as that's all the widgets that you'll be needing. And last but not least, a good old file explorer. I always recommend ES File Explorer simply just because it's free and it's very easy to use. Now, once you've got all those apps set up, the next thing you'll be needing is checking the link in the description below. It comes with all the resources that you'll be needing, namely the four Zupa widget files and that awesome wallpaper that comes with this pack. So once you have those down, we can move on to editing our Nova Launcher settings. Almost forgot two more things that you want to do in order to get the setup looking all fine and dandy. We want to jump right into your file explorer, whichever one that you're using, and you want to look for that City Night folder that you've hopefully unzipped and copied onto your phone right here. And as you can see, if you open it, it comes with our four zip widget files and the wallpaper. So we can leave that wallpaper straight where it is. We don't have to do anything with that. But if I hold down and now select the four zip widget files, select copy, what I want to do now is to go into my main SD card directory go all the way to the bottom and look for the Zupa widget folder. From here, I want to look for the folder called templates and all I'm going to do is then just select or just paste them all in so they should apply and just look like that. So that is your Zupa widget setup complete basically. That's all you need to do. But there is one more thing that you want to do in order to get that music information. Sorry, I'm still a bit rusty with these Pi controls. The one thing that you do want to do is to um, go into your media utilities. So hopefully you've installed it. And let's just look for it right here. So it's opening up. You want to go into your settings either at the top or if you say working with a Samsung device, it'll be at the bottom. You want to go into your settings right now. You want to scroll a bit to the bottom and you may want to make sure that all of these are pretty much enabled. You want to make sure that Zoop is enabled. So UCCW, you can just enable all of them. It doesn't hurt, but it does help when using each one of these apps. So make sure that those are all enabled and pretty much everything at the bottom as well. Use alternative data collection, attempt direct control, make cover art available. Even if this is not applicable for this theme, it will make your life a whole lot easier when setting up the rest of your other home screens. These will always be enabled and it doesn't really hurt. So that is your two other things complete. So that's all good to go. And now we can jump right into our Nova settings. Also, one thing to take note, you might have noticed that my navigation bar is no longer with me. That's because I rooted my Nexus 5. Yes, that's right. I finally, finally rooted my Nexus 5. Um, if you guys even want a video, I probably could like, give you guys one to see exactly what I use. But right now, I'm running Gravity Box in order to get rid of this navigation bar, as well as the Pi controls that came with it, just to give me like, a little bit of ease of access, like you can see over here. So that's out of the way. If anyone asks why is there no navigation bar, it's because my Nexus 5 is rooted. That's right, rooted. And yeah, I just got rid of that navigation bar. So let's begin with our Nova Launcher settings. I'm going to hold down on my home screen right now and select that little wrench right there in order to get into my Nova Launcher settings. Right now, I'm going to jump into my desktop and then I'm going to jump into my desktop grid. Now, a 10 by 10 was recommended to get a good looking size and everything. But as always, if it's not working too well, then you might want to change it up a bit, see what works well for you. 
However, this is pretty grid dependent and SS Launcher might turn out best for you. Of course, you want your margins to be on none. Your home screen is only going to be one home screen this time. So you can leave the rest off and your resize or widgets you want enabled. You want widget overlap and then overlap when placing. You want all of those enabled and also label icons disabled. I'm just going to go back now. I'm going to go into my dock. You want your dock disabled. You don't need that dock at all. You look and feel if we scroll a bit down, you want your well, show notification bar. You want that to be disabled. You don't need that one at the top because your home screen's got enough information already. I'm just going to go back once again. And the last thing you might want to do is if you go into your gestures and buttons, as you can tell, obviously, because I don't have a navigation bar now, so you might want to enable a few gestures such as swiping up to open up your app drawer or double tapping or whatever, just to make things a bit easier in case you get confused or dazed, and that just might work out the best for you. So that is pretty much your Nova settings complete. You want to have, if you've got any apps or widgets on your home screen, you want to hold down and select remove or just drag them into the X at the top to get rid of them. Makes your job a whole lot easier because you just want a fresh blank page right here. Next up, we're going to be setting up the wallpaper. So in order to set up the wallpaper, it's very easy to do. You simply have to hold down on your home screen, select wallpapers, and then let's just say go into your gallery. Make sure that you've copied this folder onto your phone. Otherwise, obviously, you will not see this. I'm just going to select the wallpaper right now. Now with Nova Launcher, it's pretty cool. It's got this little crop icon here at the bottom. If I select it and then select portrait, bam, it enables the entire, or selects the entire screen right here. As you can see, because I had my navigation bar at the bottom, it wasn't fitting too well. But because now I've disabled it, it makes my life a whole lot easier. So I'm just going to be selecting OK right now. It's going to set the wallpaper and bam, there it is looking very sweet. Right, so that's Nova settings, wallpaper complete. Now we're going to jump into editing our widgets. Great, so in order to add in a Zupa widget, very easy to do. We simply have to hold down on the home screen, select our widgets right now, scroll all the way to the bottom and select Zupa Widget Pro. Now because it's a 10 by 10, I went for a 2 by 2 in order to choose that right, well, the correct uh, Zupa widget size, I'm going to hold down on it, and just drag it into the corner right there, select resize. Going to make it take up the entire width. And what I'm going to do right now, just to make my job a whole lot easier, is I'm just going to keep on doing that for the rest of the four widgets. So that is our four Zupa widget skins added. Now all we have to do is configure them so they open up their respective templates. So starting at the top, Gonna tap that skin right there. Gonna select my SD card. Now remember, hopefully you've copied them into that templates folder, otherwise they will not appear here. So I wanna add in city one. That's the one at the top that comes with the time and the date, and it looks really awesome. Now what you might wanna do is to start configuring once you, will, once you add them in one by one. It does save a bit of time is to configure them straight away. So say for example, you want your time to open up your clock app or whatever app you want. What you want to do right now is to jump into your layout settings. Always remember that if you have no idea how to use Zupa Widget, the one that I'm using right here, check in the link in the description below for a complete guide on how to use this amazing, amazing app. So what you want to do right now is save for the clock. As you can see, it's called Rich Text. It's this one over here. If I select it now and go to Widget on tap Action, if I select that now, scroll across to my app list. You can also add in a shortcut or just make it disabled. But we can just go for clock right now as that's the one that I want to open. So same goes, say for the phone. What I want to do right now is if I say go back. Um, now, what might get a bit confusing is that these aren't labeled as icons. They're actually text, which is actually quite ingenious. And if you get quite into Zupa Widget, you might find that adding in these texts, making these icons text is a whole lot easier. So as you can see, that V1, that's that actually the phone icon. So if I scroll right down now, select Widget on tap Action. Scroll, let's just go to where is the phone? There is the phone. So it's just selected like that. Now I can go back. My, what you might want to do right now is say if you've got everything set up, is to select widget on tap action and then make it disabled. But don't do that just yet. What you first want to do is to make sure that it looks all good. So I'm just going to minimize it right now. As you can see, it does look good. So I'm going to jump back into it right now. Go to my widget on tap action and then make it disabled. So what that means is that now that I've got it looking all fine and dandy, that if I tap around it, nothing will work until I tap the clock and that's what I want it to open. And there it is. So all you have to do right now is to carry on doing that with the rest of these Zupa widgets. So I'm going to go back into my SD card. This City 2 one, you might need a bit of resizing. So I'd say minimize it, maybe move this one down a bit. Let's see what that looks like. See, that has to be resized a bit. So if I hold down on it, select resize. 
and let's just tap away and let's just see what it looks like if we select our super widget again our editor it might just resize itself and this is always handy and I think it's done its deed and it looks pretty good so we're gonna add in the next one right now which is city 3 so if I select it now also you can configure it to open up your weather app if you want I'm just gonna leave it as it is because I first want to see what it looks like so I've made it over here let's just see what it looks like and that's a bit small so what I want to do is hold down select resize and this is actually a good tip for you guys if you use zoop widget a lot is to first say place it then resize it a bit tap away open up the skin once again and if it doesn't say resize you can always just reopen it go back into your SD card then select it and as you can tell it's resized itself and this is a thing with zoop widget it's not like UCCW great so last one we want to do right now is the music one scroll down to city 4 we're going to select city 4 right now remember to have your media utilities enabled otherwise it's just not going to show you anything it's just going to look a bit weird so I'm just going to minimize it right now see what it looks like see if I have to do any resizing at all and no it looks great but however say if I tap on the side it opens up my editor so you know what to do guys you want to go into your widget on tap action you want to make it disabled because you only want it to have your play pause and your next track enabled so let's just test it out going to minimize it see if we tap here nothing happens but if we tap there then your music starts playing and you can just tap it again in order for it to stop and that my friends is the home screen complete you can tell that let's just say that one was defaulted to open up your nova app draw and that's it it's got everything that you need it's got your system information there it's got your weather it's got all your notifications there at the top this is actually a fantastic screen and i definitely recommend you go try it out as you can tell it's a very easy one to set up so hope you've enjoyed this video guys if you did please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the my color screen channel it will really mean a lot to us other than that also don't forget to check out our various social communities we are on google plus facebook twitter even instagram i definitely recommend that you guys go check them out also don't forget guys to check out my color screen's official one click theming launcher titled Thema Beta. It's available free off the Play Store and we highly recommend that you go and try it out today. And also don't forget to leave a review if you do have it and yeah, haven't left a review. It really means a lot for us. It's a literally one click theming at your fingertips. If I like this theme right here, I just need to click apply. It's going to apply the theme for me and within seconds you can have a fantastic brand new looking home screen with ease as you can tell here it is right here so we do recommend that you go and try it out today and don't forget to leave a review other than that thank you very much guys for watching marco here from my color screen and as always don't stop customizing